anybody can make money. Not everybody's gonna do it, but not everybody wants it. So you guys have to figure out how bad do you want it. Like I paid for this weekend so you guys can come down here and figure that out. Welcome to the Roughnecks. I'm Rico, your econ instructor. I'm a software engineer, a military veteran, and a six-figure e-com seller. I've helped over 400 students on Amazon alone, and thousands more make money online. If you need to know anything about making money, you're going to find it out right here. Yesterday was wild, you know, it was more of a meet and greet. Everybody got to come, they got to hang out with us. They got to see my friends, you know, they got to meet my man behind the camera and see how all the magic is made. You know, you guys can see the Lambos and all that stuff. You know, people came from all over. I would have never guessed in a million years that people would want to come listen to some dude from, you know, Mississippi speak and, and you know, coach them. And then today is going to be more of like a round table session. You know, me and all my friends are going to be, you know, mentoring people in different areas, you know, so people are going to rotate between us. So that way everybody gets a little bit of personal time. Instead of us sitting in front of everybody, speaking, telling them how great we are, what we do, we're just going to sit there amongst everybody, network and see where they're at, what they want to accomplish and try to help them reach their goals. Because for a lot of us, nobody did that. Nobody cared. And we had to do it all on our own. And I don't want that for the next person. If I had somebody who, who would do that for me, who had a free mastermind and then set in and taught me, I would have been successful within three years. You know, it took me almost a decade. It's a very long time. I don't want that for anybody. So today, we'll try to make, you know, help people make some money, try to get them to where, you know, I know they can be. And, you know, hopefully they'll be driving these next time, you know, they come to the mastermind. So good luck. Let's right. go. Let's, let's get in here. way more people showed up than I thought y'all would. But you know, that's dope. I'm so glad that you guys are here. You know, you're gonna get a chance to talk to me and all my friends. And you know, you guys get to learn everything about us, what we do, how we do it, and how you guys can mimic the success that we've had because obviously you guys are seeing some of the fruits of our labor. You know, it took me a long time to get here and my hopes is that it doesn't take you guys 10 years to be able to do all this. Mitch Holt from Canada. I got into e-commerce about six years ago. I uh, ran a pipeline company for 12 years up in Canada, did a lot of consulting for big oil companies. Ran some really big jobs, up to about $180 million. I ran the processes for cost monitoring, things like that. Kind of took everything that I learned through all that time and brought it into e-commerce. For me, there was a lot of value in that. You know, when you come down and you transition into a different industry, <clears throat> a lot of guys will, you know, grow up in e-commerce. They got it, they got their one track mind and how they look at things right top to bottom. For me, it was, you know, took take what I learned there and expanded it into something bigger. When I got into this and you look at everybody wants their lives to change and what they want to do and what their goals are. You know, be able to help people get into something and offering them an honest business was, was big for us. So that was last, last March, I uh, quit, the, quit the pipeline consulting full time. We started to scale this. You know, I'm not trying to brag or anything. Did our, did our uh, revenue reports here for, for January. I thought we were sitting around 1.3. We did 4.6 million in revenue. You know, that's total revenue. Again, not profits, but, but those are some big numbers, right? Something to be really proud of. We're hoping to scale that up. I'd like to start seeing 50 mil a month here by the end of 2020. Uh, total revenue for everybody. You know, again, we got clients pushing, you know, 200 to 600,000 a month in sales through our teams, which is really big. Uh, we got distribution companies. We got warehouses. Again, hiring employees on my side on Canada and hiring employees on the U.S. side. We've got company benefits, health, dental, all that thing. So for myself, we're building a real company. You know, this isn't just sitting in my home, drop shipping, talking on Facebook, pocketing sign up money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're, we're investing in the infrastructure and getting something really, really big going. Uh, we structure our business plans for every client that we take in, uh, you know, what they come to the floor with capital, how we're going to get them to where they want to be. So everybody that we sit down with, we, we work with them with what they have and we help them build up bigger. work at Amazon you know some of them work on the AWS other ones work you know on the selling side all they do is just pixel match now they, they have a list of bases in every you know Walmart specific they can just pixel match but oh this is on Walmart okay give us you know inventory for these three random items we're getting more three ASIN suspensions than anything I've never seen so many in all the years I've been on Amazon I've never seen people get hit without even selling a single item they're not even selling items now. They, as soon as they list them, they might get two, three days in, hit, gone, yeah. gone, just like that. You know, so there's a lot of things that you have to learn as a seller. I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in Amazon, like on product that got there, 
Amazon refused to give me, you know, the time of day on those. Mm -hmm. And then shut it down. They're like, yo, listen, shut down. So imagine you spend $50,000 on product. You sell maybe 5,000 of that and Amazon's like, nope, not happening. We're done here. I literally have a basement full of product from Amazon. They were like, nah, you can't sell it. So you got to pull it and figure out what you're going to do with it. Yeah. And even the, even the other businesses too, when you guys get into this as well, like instead of outsourcing the problems, try to find a way to create the solutions for yourself, right? Like with me, it was the, with the tax exemptions. I'm not sure if you guys know, get tax exempt. Like I created that. I started that. We've got over 850 clients that have been tax exempt fully legally in the U S I was audited by the IRS actually a few weeks back and I passed. So now I'm one of the, I, I'm actually an authorized vendor of services for the IRS. You can't drop ship all the things forever. I tell people that all the time. I'm like, you cannot drop ship all the things forever. It does not work forever. You have to start moving into other, other ventures. Huge. So let's start taking some of this money that you're making, let's start buying inventory. Let's start moving towards wholesale. Let's start setting these contracts up. I don't know what to do. Yo, we'll transition contracts from me to, you know, to Mitch and the team. And they're like, well, you're still there. So it's like your contract. Look, <clears throat> this contract is mine between me and you. Let's transition so that way we can get you in a hole so we can get you moving forward because that's how we make a lot of our money. Mm -hmm. You know, like drop shipping, yeah, it's nice, but the majority of my money is made through wholesale. Yeah. Why do you think we have so many damn suppliers? Because it just makes more sense. When you can have 100% ROI, <laughs> you know, who cares about, you know, 10? Right. You know, I mean, it's nice when you first start where you're like, yo, man, I did $300,000 this month. You know, I, I made 30 grand. It's dope. Yeah, if you went, man, you yeah. learn it. It's good. So, once, so once, a, once a client, you know, builds and scales mm -hmm. to a certain level, you oh. guys then offer other Oh, yeah, we're out. At that point. This is how you can diversify. Make their money back. Yeah. Build yeah. their trust. Show them that you can do this. Give them mm -hmm. some profit and say, look, now we can do this better. Yeah. If you want to do this better, you know, it's at that time. Like, now it's time to transition.